and we're back All right, right where we left off so if you didn't watch video one uh, you can click on the link above and go check that out first but when we left off we had roof over my office and the portico which you see in the bottom left of your screen and I showed you the wall they had built over there at the stair tower this is drone footage. That's why it's moving some because I sped it up. Oh, there I come in on the uh, boom lift. I got to say, there's no piece of equipment yet that I bought that hasn't been invaluable. Not just on my project, but obviously doing what we do on other projects. I've got a few accessories that kind of lay around, but all the machines for the most part have been great. So what they're doing now is they're nailing together these massively tall braces because the ridge beam is 18 feet above where they're standing on the concrete right now, the ceiling. And then the ridge beam is another 18 feet above that. So all the braces had to be about 29 feet, roughly, a little less, 20, 28, whatever, to reach what needed to happen. See in the background on the back right, started on that roof. So what I'm trying to do is get the boom lift is close in and is tight in where we can still maneuver and reach over where we need it. It works out, but you're going to see it's, it's close. That's why I'm glad I got this one. You know, you've got one, ones that only have a couple of movements or whatever, but this is a ton of stuff. You've got two different vertical booms. So he's going to take the boom lift there or the boom truck, the crane, and come across and just set the uh, double LVL just right on top of that it's going to be just supported by everybody kind of holding it in midair and then we're going to bring a rafter in from each side and nail it in place and there you go a little bit of insanity there just a little bit could be later on in the video right now this video before i finish editing is right at 19 minutes i'm sure there'll be a few cuts and everything getting that in place i'm operating the boom so i didn't really I eventually do some filming. Oh, I filmed with my phone. Huh. I'll have to make that into some shorts. So y'all can check out that view. Because when I'm filming with the phone, I usually don't turn it on landscapes. It's just too much going on trying to hold it. All right. So trying to get those kind of in place. Because you'll see, if you look down below, they're putting bracing on the braces. So the temporary columns are getting braces. He uses that air hose as a uh, pulley for a lot. You see that pulling up the pull rope. Pulls up that uh, two by four. There you go. Setting it in place. And puts another piece of wood on the outside of it. I already had one on one side. See him throwing the wood up to him. He's catching it. That kind of sandwiches it in there. There you go. Crazy, right? That's temporarily supported. Now the crane's gonna grab one of the rafters and put one on each end in the middle. Start getting some support for this thing. It's crazy. See? Cinco de Mayo! <laughs> there comes a rafter. There. See if it'll stay up long enough to uh, get some of this. So now we find out if the measurements are correct. Yep. Hey. Right. Tell me when. Right there. Come back a little bit. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Do we go? Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah go, uh, you want to go under it? Uh, uh, a little bit. 
No, we can't go that way, right? Okay. We can. We can, and then I can twist it some more. We can be on that side. You want to be on that side? Uh, no, it's fine. Let's go. It's good. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, good. Okay. You start climbing out and, and shit. <laughs> Do not try this at home. Yeah, see? It's all good now. We gave our little warning. And, uh, yeah. Hmm? Look at that. Now what'll have to happen is we'll have to hold our end and we'll just pull it out. So we can get it anchored down. Then he's giving some extra support to this. Because there's zero chance of uh, bringing support to you. That's it. Let's go. We're just uh, up here in the basket watching it unfold. All right. Okay. Hey, okay. Hey, that was pretty cool right so now we're at the time lapse that was sitting down there on the concrete in the bottom corner just keep on setting these super long rafters originally the lumber company and the engineer had called for like two by ten but they would have been sister together because they didn't have them that long and i mean maybe it would have been okay but uh, I spent the extra and did all LVLs. So all these runs along this side and about half of them on the other side, you'll see either in this video or the future ones that there's certain other beams that come across so they're not quite as long. And then we change up to the two by tens. But when you want a certain design, sometimes you have to do whatever. So the ridge beam you just saw set, that was only half of it. So we had to add another ridge beam to the end of that one four on one side and like three lvls on the other side and it's gonna stay like that for a couple of days this like this this video is over like three days i think as they uh work on other parts so what he did was he goes around uh, talking about raymond the framer they go around and do areas and kind of build as far as they can go and then figure out how they're gonna fill in the gaps and how that's all gonna work. So now you see we've got this uh, wall there. So that becomes, so the far right is the curve of the breakfast area. And then as you come into the left, that area that they were just standing on, that is over top of the guest bed. That gets a lower roof. It's not even a 12, 12, it's like a eight, 12, maybe something like that. And then, so that wall that you see on the first third of the screen, that is, uh, that's all gable end. So you'll see that from the outside. You'll see about half of that wall becomes gable. So building that. Start to close in a little bit on, uh, over top of what was going to be the garage originally. Where we've got that little spiral staircase going up and then there's going to be a tower built there so you'll see sometimes they do stuff that's temporary like that lvl that's in the middle of the screen that's coming down to a board that's just in midair that kind of got ran across there once that roof gets built there's a half wall's got to go in and a roof that comes in over the guest bed that gets cut and meets the other uh the other ridge line coming down the side which Probably doesn't make a lot of sense right now since you don't see it, but that's what's going to eventually happen. So easier to put things in place temporarily sometimes. You get your correct line. So that LVL is the correct angle it's supposed to be. And then once they build the rest of that roof, they can uh, cut it back.
tying up a few loose ends, doing some braces. Cannot complain. The rain, this is a uh, Saturday that I'm recording this, Saturday the 27th. And uh, recording the voiceover, the video was recorded over a week ago. But, you know, all those storms are coming in now. But we got set for one day of rain I'm going to complain about. It, uh, or I did in the last video or the next video, something like that. Can't really complain too much. The weather really worked out for us. We're thankful for that. And this is just looking across right there in the bottom left is the stairwell. I think I'm just getting a little bit of video of them running around like crazy. I don't know how much you can really tell with this. This is uh, pretty much busy work. They're filling in some of the rafters, building a couple little walls, doing a few things like that. So I think we're going to go ahead and uh, change back over to live action. Lots and lots is happening. Hmm. All right. So this wall's going to come out a little more. The steps had to start here. And then that step will go up. Then it goes down. We'll have a door here. All this above me is attic for now. <laughs> Probably stay at it. You've already seen all this. Let's see. That is way up there. All right, so building that wall there because the roof, the rafters have to come off of the side of that and come into that. This won't stay here forever, of course. Uh, once that's all framed in and they start the framing of the hat and coming back, then that will get cut wherever it needs to to tie in uh, to the rafter coming back this way. I mean, the uh, ridge beam. But yeah, they're just working their way across, and then that's a little complicated too, but it's, uh, it's shaping up. Right, Juan? Yes. See this side's coming together. The middle's not there because that gets a tower coming out. It'll make sense what that gets later. And so once they build the tower there, then these rafters go into the side of the tower. Uh-oh, the head shake. What's up? So I didn't film it yesterday. Chris came with the motor grader. Not on this part, obviously. That's what Robert's doing. He's kind of spreading some of this down. Oh, he's right. Yeah, this one's beautiful. Finally putting rock the rest of the way around so that we have a road all the way around the property. And also add gravel on it. We'll have to move all this stuff again at some point. So he came through with the motor grader and did a little bit of this yesterday. I said, uh, he made a big guess. So we'll see. Uh, that's going to do his thing. This is going to be nice. We'll need another load up here. Get us through to here. And then another load. So probably three more loads. To get us I kind of wanted it to be defined too, so we know where that's at. So, because I'm gonna start planting grass seed through here, to, honestly, just to hold it uh, for erosion control, and then obviously, okay, you got to do landscape stuff later. At the end, got a, kind of a plan for some of this, but all right, I've got to go work. So, see y'all later.